Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. We are joined by a very, very special guest. The rooster, some call him. Oh my God. Jake Fraser McGurk is with us. Hey guys. Explain going? yourself. Hey guys, rooster. What are you, what's going on? How are you, mate? <laughs> you see, he can't can, talk. Can you speak in that? Is that actually Jake Fraser oh, McGurk? Barely. Barely. Yeah, yeah. Is the mic picking that up? Or? Was your shot selection on the weekend, Jake? A bit, a bit wrong. You only made <laughs> what the uh, the sixteen runs. The rooster. What was going on there? Mm. <laughs> it's not good. Anyway, we've also got Leo Malali. He's fired up. How you going, Yeah, I'm looking normal today. Looking normal. Yeah, nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with Jake Fraser McGurk? It's, it's, he's a guest on our show. No, he's, he's so right. scary, isn't he? <laughs> he's very scary. Very scary. Anyway, the summer of cricket is here. Oh, my God. It's oh, actually Marcus. Oh, there, there we go. We go. Oh, there we go. I, I, oh, I, I had really, everyone fooled, no, He's already I? touched them all. <laughs> I, I had everyone fooled, didn't I? I was really, really hoping that was Jake Fraser. That was, <laughs> yeah. One day. I one might day. say one that day. in my dream, though. One, one day, day, we will actually reveal a rooster head. Underneath it will be Jake Fraser. There's no way, we, no way we get him to do that. If you saw that at the MCG... Yes. Good on you. Oh, yeah. Credit. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you. You get a gold Good star. The summer of cricket yeah. is here. We were there. Marcus and myself yeah. were there at the G. Marcus got on the big screen. Uh, a lot of people were in the comments saying, I saw that rooster around. On TV. He made two kids cry. He... Made some great TikToks. Stats had a good at the time. End of the day. Two TikToks. Two TikToks. Two, two kids. kids cried. To, two times on the big screen. <laughs> might have to send some videos to Gerald so he can like overlay him over the top of this. Or well, we'll um, at least get a photo, I reckon, of you. Yeah, and, like, me yeah. dancing with the Pakistan fans. Yes. In the Pakistan Bay. Yep. Yeah, that was, was really good. Was a good time. Yeah, I didn't know the rooster was a Pakistan fan, yep. but he was so also the feeling, Pakistan Hulk man. He's a fan threatened, of cricket. threatened to <laughs> unalive me. So. Yeah, he did. We saw the Pakistan Hulk man. You know, oh, like, right. Let's just keep going. on. Let's get into it. As I said, we are going through a huge Australia versus Pakistan ODI series preview here so the second match we're going to do a first match wrap as well we're going to do some predictions and things like that so let's get into it before we start be sure to get around this podcast on spotify apple Podcasts, and subscribe to youtube that's cricket today podcast and all the socials cricket today au a lot of fun stuff is going up on the socials at the moment this yeah. or that videos rooster videos coming out the wazoo, the wazoo. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say something else but <laughs> we'll say that we'll say the wazoo so yeah get on cricket today AU. it's a lot of fun all right, we're going to start with the news. Uh, big news that Leo wasn't that excited about when I was talking to him the other day. Australia Is it big news? Oh, I think it is. <laughs> it's fairly big. If you're a captain of Australia in any format, that is pretty big. So Josh, Josh, why can't I say his name? Josh Inglis <laughs> is uh, the new ODI and T20 series captain for Australia. So for the final ODI, the mm. third ODI against Pakistan, and then the whole T20 series against Pakistan, Josh Inglis. Is he not the skipper the, for the second one? No. no. Because Cummins is still around for the second one, apparently. Okay. So, They're resting the test stars, and a few others are out after that. But Josh Inglis. Uh, was he captain WA? No, I had a look. Uh, oh, now I can't remember who it was, but it wasn't um, Inglis. Inglis. Uh -oh. So I don't even think he's, has he captained his junior team? I don't even know. <laughs> has he, has what he do we really <laughs> know about Josh Inglis? So. <laughs> Surely he's had a captain time at the uh, junior level, maybe. But that's about it. Possibly. I'm <laughs> what trying to find out. Even if it does, you. like, it doesn't translate to Aussie level. Look, it's not that big of a story, is it? Like, I don't know, we got to talk about it. We're a cricket show. We've had Tim Payne, <laughs> we've had Tim Payne captain the ODIs. Before. Well, that was a big story, though. Yeah, it was an all right story. Well, when he, when he came out, when he captained the test. Maybe board. they're saying that he's on the rise. Alex Carey is pretty much gone now. Well, like, he's got in the, in the short, short format. Form, yes. I, Alex will be, ah, oh, sorry, not Alex. What's your name? Oh. Marcus. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking of Alex Carey. You'll be happy about that because you're not a big fan of Alex Carey. You got called Alex Carey and Alex from our office. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I meant Alex like, Carey, not Alex uh, from our office. Sure you did. All right, fine. You don't want to talk about that. We'll go to the next one. Well, Nate we can talk about it, but I just think it's not that big of a story. Like, it, good on him. Well done. He doesn't captain WA. Captain WA's. Australia. I thought, Steve, I thought Steve Smith will captain. That's all right. Ah, uh, he's, he's washed. Steve yeah, he's washed. Yeah. We need some. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's actually, how old's Josh Inglis? No, I think he's, he's looking. 29. Smith is actually looking a little bit better. 28. 29, yeah. How do you know? Just. I look Looked it up a lot of ball right there. Yeah. Mm. Next one in the news, Nathan McSweeney is set to open the batting for Australia. Eh? So that match is on now. They're toying with the minds of Constance. So Constance drops to four. McSweeney's opening with Harris and then Bancroft's at three. Has McSweeney opened at Ever? all? Oh, he hasn't opened for Shield. Is he, he bats not? at four. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't, didn't even. Four, yeah. You host a cricket show. You don't <laughs> know <laughs> Shield State cricket, mate. Cricket. <laughs> State cricket. So boring. You don't so care. That's why cricket's dying. Yeah, People you don't care. <laughs> You yeah. care about English captaining some short form stuff, but you don't care about the grassroots. Because it's Australia. You don't care about the state. <laughs> the <laughs> grass. We say Sheffield Shield is grassroots. <laughs> yeah, grassroots, grassroots is professional, apparently. They play on grass. <laughs> yeah, it's very grassy. It's the start to their test career. So anyway, what do we think about McSweeney opening? Constance, <laughs> that's going to shoot him, uh, shoot some confidence out It's too out early for Constance, anyway. You reckon? Yeah, he's really it young, is, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, no, I agree. Yeah. I, think, I think Bancroft should probably be the one to come in, but. Not Nisa? 
<laughs> well, this is open the bag if, and if, the bowling. If, if they're picking between the four batsmen, I personally think Bancroft. But yes, Nisa should be in this squad. <laughs> Took two wickets in the first in his first over today in the very Australian green deck squad. of the G. Uh, one Chris Gale or two. He well, had three for he had three for four after two overs. Just get him in, get him in. I'm telling you, he's a good he's a gun. Yeah, he's, uh, a, gun. he's a very unlucky. Bring player. him in, put head at one, <laughs> and then move everyone up the order. Yeah, no, I, we're playing with an extra scene bowler. I told you he'd get a an, bit an <laughs> of chatter here. Anyway, yeah, I brought it up. Bit surprising. We're, we're playing with an extra seam bowler when we have Cam Green. We actually saw the Aussie selector. Green's, Green's an all-rounder. Nisa, Nisa's an all-rounder as well. Nisa's a he bowling all-rounder. So the, there's a difference. Sorry. That's wow. true. That's true. We also actually saw the Aussie selector, George Bailey, at the pub last night. Yes, we did. So oh, we should have yeah, had a chat we, to we him. Put in a, I put him. in a good word about Jai Richardson. Did you not <laughs> ask him to come on the Cricket Today show? <laughs> no, he was he was too busy oh, having some beers. Oh, his bodyguard, lads, James come Hopes, on. was there. Oh, James Hopes. Poor. He's a big man. What does that mean? Just... Just truck hunting, mate. He's just Ugh. big. I'm allowed to say that. He's, he's, he's bulking up. Anyway, back to who should open. <laughs> Mick Sweeney, I really rate out of those four, but he's not an opener. Do we think yeah. that the Aussie selectors are leaning towards Mick Sweeney opening, though? I if think they, if they just want to see him. If, if he performs well, he'll he'll open. I don't I think, think any opener is going to perform well because the deck of the G is so green. So yeah. I feel for any opener. Oh, Maybe Constance uh, of Four could. Uh, oh, think, yeah. Unless he makes sing, single digits in both innings, you'll see him opening the batting for Australia. Who? Mick Sweeney? Yeah. Oh. 10 and 10. You've heard him. <laughs> First. Yeah, if he, if he makes 10 in <laughs> one innings, <laughs> that he'll open the batting. you to open the batting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that qualifies you to open the batting. Oh, really? oh well, then we could open the batting. We can make. We could probably make 10. Sure, it's just the way the selectors think. They're, done, they're done like that. Yeah. Sure enough. Told George Bailey that <laughs> Yeah, we should have. All right, that's enough news. I was going to talk about Marcus becoming famous. At the we team. already did that. We, we already, already that, talked yeah. about that. So let's get into it. The first ODI wrap, Australia versus Pakistan at the MCG on Monday. Mm. Marcus and I were there for at least the uh, first innings. I was did you end up going back game. after the pub? Oh, you went back? Game. Yeah, we went, to, yeah, went back after the pub. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Uh, Pakistan, 203, got bowled out in 46.4 overs. Very slow innings until mm. Nazim Shah decided to hit some bombs. Australia, 8 for 204. This doesn't t tell the whole story. 300, uh, what was I going to say? 33.3 overs they got the job done in. So Australia win by two wickets. But it was actually really close. The pace bowlers from mm. both teams were electric. Yeah, causing a bit of havoc. Yeah. Um, middle order struggled for Australia. Oh, and um, the top order, pretty much. Pretty other, much. Other top than, um, order got, uh, well, Smith and Inglis got Inglis, Smith. Star. Inglis was 49 or 42. Yeah. He was really good. You've got uh, Nazim Shah was like probably the best batter. I, I could not believe that. He was hitting sixes mm. at the G. Like really big he shots. doesn't die wondering. No, bats. but I like his confidence. He's never, so never confident hit him with the ball. Never hit a six in an ODI before that game and hit three or four. Four, I think. I think yeah. he's hit a test match six. There you go. Yeah, yeah you but go. not an ODI. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell Stark was the best bowler for Australia. Three for 33. Just A couple, couple early this ones. This is why Nice is just so unlucky. The mm. Aussie bowlers just are never... Are they ever going to retire? No. Oh. Like Stark, Cummins, Hazelwood? Nah, yeah, once Nisa retires, they'll retire. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's Nisa is happen. around the same age. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why yeah, I feel exactly, for him. Exactly. Because these bowlers, you can rely on Stark to get three for Then the next match, Cummins will get three for Then the next match, Hazelwood will get three for It's just But so one good. thing will remain the same. Sean Abbott will never take a three for <laughs> Pakistan as well. Their bowlers were electric. Harris, Ralph. I swear the mm. only place, I was saying this uh, to my mates when watching it at the pub, the only place he can play well in the world, Harris, Ralph, the G. He's got he's got a hat trick yep. there for the stars. He dominates for the stars sometimes, uh, and he's got three for sixty seven. Which <laughs> sixty seven is not great. He was gone at a seven in economy, but uh, three for he was bowling absolute heat. And a few of the ones, Steve Smith, with was, Steve Smith or Marnus got out oh, where he tried to leave it. Yeah, that, was it Marnus? Marnus? I think it was Marnus tried to leave it, but it was just did he try to leave it? Deep third. I don't know. He didn't try to play it. Oh. It was a bit of uh, just stuck at the yeah. hesitation. Third man catching practice. Don't get us. Marnus. Talking about Marnus. Marnus. Good little segue there. One over, one wicket. Yeah, he, Should he be bowling more, lads? You <laughs> nah. can bowl him. Nah, oh. nah, he played some really bad shots. You know, you know the saying. I Crap gets wickets. Yeah. In other I words, hope he proves me wrong. But he was brought into this team as a batsman. Yeah, <laughs> and, if he ha and if he, like I think he will, have the worst summer with the bats. Oh, jeez. He needs to bloody stop worrying about his bowling. <laughs> and why, why, why is he, he bowling might, one over for no, 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 one no, over? It worked. He might come in handy here. We're going to win the game anyway, whether he bowled or not. <laughs> he might come so in no. handy in Adelaide. Spinning deck. 
Zampa and Manus. <laughs> okay, got, ripping you, out you got Zampa. Oh. I'd bowl head before Manus. Oh. I'd bowl Matt Short before Manus. I'd bowl Maxi before Manus. Yeah, but the other guys. I'd aren't bowl even Steve captains. Smith before Manus. No, no, not Steve. Smith. Probably not Steve Smith. <laughs> but <laughs> Steve Smith was Alex. Manus well, is he was, the fifth, is an equal spin. fifth best spinner in this team. Why are we giving him an over? Because he he's lippy. He's lippy. His, but he's lippy. Oh yeah, we'll give him an over because he's, he's so lippy. unpredictable. Also, they, just, Pakistan was so dumb. They tried to sweep and then slog him. He needs every ball. That's why mm, they got out. He needs to prove me wrong and just have a good summer with the bat. If he, he's going to, he's going to drive me crazy. If he bowls he one or two overs crazy. every game and he gets a wicket, that's a that's great efficiency. Well, well, Cummins come out and said that, uh, basically saying, yeah, he, he's he's always going to bowl an, an over, at least an over. Yeah, because he's always in his ear. Because he's, he's always in his ear, and and it's just a good chance to rest. But Cummins just needs to be rest. bloody like he needs to be a hard man. Remember we were talking about hard men. Yeah, he's not like, a hard and man. He needs to be like yeah. Manus. Shut up, you <laughs> eccentric, stupid idiot. <laughs> You're not bowling an over. <laughs> I'm giving it to Maxi or Short or Head, who are actually better bowlers or better spinners. Well, I, I hate to tell you, Leo, but he's going to get a five for it. Is, no, there, any, no, is, is there anyone more annoying in cricket history than, than Manus? Um... Uh, who's the keeper? Was, was it annoying pants? Bloke. I don't like. Rishabh Pant. Pan was yeah, really annoying. Like, pants. Yeah, pants. Yeah, fancy. Um, <laughs> Rishabh Pant. Yeah. My Going back to the Pakistan zero batting. knowledge. Some of their middle order and towards the end was terrible. Oh, they Nasim Shah oh. obviously was great, but players like Harris Rauf, who came in off two balls, he and doesn't just know tried how to bat. Yeah. Absolutely whack it yeah. out of the stadium. You wouldn't have seen Shah who's, who's bombs just and, block he's, it, yeah. and he's in form. Yeah. Just get him on strike. Exactly. Just hit the single. Yeah. Get him on strike. That would have been the smart play. Instead, they make just over 200. Well, that probably cost them. If they made 10 or 20 more runs, mm. they had a chance because they were bowling really well. Cummins yeah. obviously was the match winner with the bat, 32 of 31. He's, he's just Mr. Perfect. You know, you got Mr. Cricket, always. Mike Hussey. Cummins is Mr. Perfect. Am I, can I say that? You good can looking. Say whatever you want, mate. He can bat, he can bowl, he can field, just looks good. He's a Sydney supporter, though. Sydney Swans. So. Is he? Yeah. Ah. He's from Sydney, but we'll let Did you be. take Cummins or Big Bo Webster? In what? what? Wait, in what? In what? In what? Well, you say Cummins can do everything. Bed? Big Bo. He has, he's not even playing in bed. Yeah. I'd like to be sandwiched in between both of them. Big Bo can bat. <laughs> big Bo's not playing for a <laughs> he show. He can bat man. better than Cummins. In the he big can bash. bowl mediums better than Cummins. Cummins bowls pace better than him. Michael Niso gets in ahead. Webster, <laughs> Webster bowls better spin than Cummins. Webster has bigger hands than Cummins and is therefore a better know? catch. Just mm. look at him. You can tell. Okay. And He's also got a big fat head compared to Cummins. Well, they, that's a bit rude, actually. It's not really fat. It's, he's, it's more long. He's got a long Elongated. Head. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we're comparing. Uh, I'm just saying, Big Bo. Bo big Bo <laughs> Webster, your favourite to back I don't know about my favourite. Has favorite. Bo even played for my Australia? My favourite Played for Australia, right, at the moment? Yeah. He has he played for Australia yet? No. Bo, no. Do you reckon he, he will? will? Break out. He's 30. He'll take over from Marnus. No, he's 30 and he hasn't played for Australia. He'll take over from Marnus. All right. <laughs> Nisa, <laughs> another spinner better than Marnus. <laughs> he doesn't bowl spinner. Anyway. Yes, he does. He bowls spinning, he bowls oh, meds. I'm taking Pat Cummins every day, though. What man. would you rather, nickname wise? Oh, no. Cum dog <laughs> or slug? Slug. Who's slug? Who's slug? slug? By Webster. By Webster. Why? He looks like a slug, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. I know, very why, slug. I know why. I know why. Oh, you can't tell My mate told me. Yeah, I can't tell you. Oh, okay. That's, right. yeah. that's for another podcast. It's, yeah, it's named after Johnny. Oh, wait. Okay. I think I know what you're saying, but yeah. there you go. Let's move on. Let's move on. That's a good idea. The fast bowlers, they were good at the G. Anyway, Australia got the win by two wickets. Wasn't that convincing, but I think the G, as we mentioned last week, I reckon it was when we are on, that was the biggest danger game of this series because the G, at the fast bowlers are going to be really good there. Yeah. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that was the danger game. Interessante. All right. The second ODI preview. Let's do it. Australia versus Pakistan. Adelaide Oval, 2.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Look, I wrote down some notes about this. Sheffield Shield at Adelaide Oval. Pretty low scoring, spun a lot as the match went on. Both Lloyd Pope and Ben Menenti had a fiver in the match. Wait, Lloyd no, Pope. Lloyd Pope. Yeah, I oh, forgot Lloyd Pope the, existed. I love Lloyd Pope. I thought he was going to be like a gun and then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Yeah. I'm worried that's going to be Todd Murphy, but that's just a... Maybe, yeah, yeah. Possibly. And then Ben Menenti getting five. But the, he, mm. What does uh, Tom say that uh, works serviceable. in the office? He says uh, door, door openers. Door openers. Yeah, door handles, yeah. Oh, that's a bit stiff on Ben Menenti. He doesn't spin it. Low Pope but can actually spin he's it. He's accurate, Ben Menenti. Accurate. They both got five from this match, so I think that's going to be uh, really telling and really good for Australia. Zampa could have a field day. Marnus could have a field day. I don't know. What do you guys mm. reckon? Is going to be spinning in Adelaide? I'll tell you what. I'll p put the house on it. Marnus <laughs> <Nisa> will play. <laughs> Marnus bowls. More than one over in this game. Oh. I agree. I reckon it'll be like five overs. Or four I, I, overs. I reckon you'll bowl, yeah, you'll bowl minimum three to four. Okay, cool. And he'll get two wickets. What are your thoughts on Two that? wickets. <laughs> <laughs> My thoughts are, as above, 
This is what I said before. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, touching on this, Australia has won convincingly in the last three ODI matches against Pakistan at the Adelaide Oval. So they'll yep. be pretty confident there. I've tucked in some big questions. I'll put them to you guys because you guys like answering big questions. Do Short and Fraser McGurk need better sh shot selection in this match? A lot of people, I think it was Brad Haddon and a few other past players are like, they're so annoying because they, 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 they're very good players, but they pick the, they, I reckon they premeditate their shots a little bit too much. What do you, what do you guys mm. reckon? Uh, no, I, I don't they, think they, they should. They just got to go for it anyway. Oh, I think yeah. it's, that's just the, the way they play. That's their personal yeah. play style. That's yeah. what got him into the team. <laughs> True. Um, the form off the back of the way that they bat. Yep. Uh, and look, yeah, look, it doesn't look great when it doesn't work. But when it does work, we're like, well, this is the next, this is the next kid. We're going to be sticking around with this opening partnership in, in tournament cricket. Uh, yeah. Um, That's cool, so cool. I just think, yeah, just, just play the way you've been playing. Possibly if one of them had to be a semi slower component than the other, sure. short would yeah, be the short sure. one. Mm. Fraser McGurk, Fraser McGurk doesn't have that in him. I don't think Are he, we yeah. introducing <laughs> Fraser McGurk? Incorrectly into the Australian setup. I reckon he shouldn't be opening. Yeah, do you think? Well, I think we've had this discussion. Six or seven. Because he can go for a ball one there. Yeah, and because that's what I reckon. Even in at big bash level, he hasn't proven he can Open. stay around for an innings. Yeah, like he can true. be explosive, he, but he never really ends not out. Like he can true. never really like when it's not going his way, he can't knock it about for two to three overs. Mm. And ODI is longer. ODI is thirty overs more. Like. Is it a bit? Good point. Should we put him this maybe is the deepest we've gone with cricket analytics? Over here. Yeah, I don't we'll like move it. on. No, uh, I like it. No, I'm <laughs> saying I like it. It's good. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, should we should we bat him at six? Who would you seven? open then? I don't. I don't mind Hardy. Hardy, Hardy yeah, yeah. One that can, he's a bit like, better technique. Yeah, he, he can he can knock it around for a bit, and he's yep. probably as explosive as short. Probably not McGurk. But you might short. have just mm -hmm. sold. Solved, uh, well, cricket. hunger. Yeah, well, <laughs> hunger <laughs> and cricket. Yeah, something like that. No, I don't mind that because mm. you're right. If he's coming later in the order, he can play those natural shots. And then, the only, and the then, only thing is once McGurk's, say, solidified that spot at six or like he's, he's getting used to it, then are we going to move people out of the way to push him up the order th as because his career he might get I, th before. I think Maybe, yes, yeah. because he's so – Stephen yeah. Smith and uh, Marnus are on the way out, I guess. He's so young that How young once he, he can prove to a lot of us that he can – stay around for a big innings, mm. that's when we can make the shift up top. Because I still think he's an opener, but I don't think he's for yet. Australia right now. Okay. Yeah. That could be Maybe the, no, the T yeah. T20 Australia. That could be the opener. best yeah, yeah, take but we've had on this show. That's a good thing. Thank you. I, I actually Thank really you. like I'm going to stay silent for the rest of the episode. Yeah, I don't mind that. <laughs> uh, next big question. Are the Aussies beatable, not used to facing express pace? We talked about this. Mm. We haven't played that many teams that bowl really quick. And when oh. I'm not saying maybe not beatable, but are, are we prone – to getting losing wickets to pe express pace. Oh, yeah, no, I, I think we are. I don't think we are. Oh, okay. To be honest. There we go. Really? Dis the, discuss. Well, <laughs> this, <laughs> thank you, Saturday. Well, um, I guess in the, players are used to facing this pace. They'll have Mitchell Stark, Pat Cummins bowling to them in the nets who bowl Would that pace. they, though? No, they yes, do. They, they do. do. There's videos of them bowling. They do. Probably not as much. To 140. No, like maybe Max. They probably bowl like mid one thirties, early one thirties. Unless you uh, talk smack about them in the in the news. Yes, we see Steve, Steve Smith. They'll bowl and bounces at yeah. Steve Smith. And he's like, well, I've done something, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cool. Um, read the room, mate. No, I think that's just a bit of a cop out. <laughs> All right, fair uh, enough. I think that's a bit of a cop out. Fair I think enough. yeah, they should be, should be used to it, especially in Australian conditions. And Australian pitchers suit pace, so I feel like we should be used to. Yeah, we should be, but I don't think we are. I think it is an issue, like. You, you see what Ralph did to us. Like, he was clearly too quick. Like a Ralph. Like, I look yeah. back to the 2021 20, Ashes where Wood came in. Yeah, we were worried. It was Hobart Wood. We've been worried with Joffre in the, in the, the past. The only Aussie batsman that test that stood up to the short ball was was Alex Carey mm -hmm. right, yeah. from memory. And everyone else was didn't know what to do. Even, you know, Travis Head struggles with the short ball, I, know, I but, think. But, a lot of the players that got out in those games – should be used like Glenn Maxwell. They he got be, out. Yeah, to, he got out to a Golden Harris Ralph. He faces him in the nets all the time throughout BBL summer. Uh, cause, true, true. Because he faces him in the nets. Um, again, I just think it's possibly just the way some players play. If you got something, someone more aggressive or, and more timid. Yeah. But just because you should, you should be used to it doesn't mean it's a strength though. Like, I, I, no, no. But I just think if we like, it's yeah, it's, it might not be a strength, but I think it's just a cop out to say that. You all know, right. Yeah, I don't mind. The that. extra pace is. Is the reason they're getting Is it. the reason yeah. we're concerned. Yeah, that's right. I, I think really the really short ball. The short ball, okay. Mixed with the pace. Yeah, don't mind that. Yeah. All we, right. don't, we don't handle the short ball while well, bowling and batting. No, actually, yeah, you're right. We should bowl bounces at each other in the nets and test it out, I reckon. 
for a little clip. I don't have the pace. That would for be that. fun. I can do a little, a little bouncer. Emphasis on the little. Yeah, um, it can just duck down. Who won that, by the way? Satsuko, who do you agree with? Uh, I ended up agreeing with uh, Marcus. I agree with you on the last one. Yeah. So I, I, I don't mind Marcus. as long as Actually, you pick we could, a side. I don't oh, we mind. could do this from now. We could have a little debate and debate decide. Yeah. I'll be the host. Well, it comes Trump versus Harris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's, Trump? Harris. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's more like Trump here? Oh, sure not either. It's, uh, uh, I don't want to answer that question. Shotgun actually. third party. I feel like we will lose some friendships <laughs> if we do that. Next one, two ones about uh, specifically about Pakistan. How was Rizwan's first performance as captain? How do, yeah. how do we reckon he went? I, he think, bat, I, thought, I think he I actually batted pretty well because he had to bat slow just to solidify their innings a bit. I yep. think he actually batted pretty well. Him and and then his decision when to put some of their fast bowls on, I think was good too. A lot yeah. of reliance on him though with the bat. I know. Yeah. But him yeah. and Bob, their top order, which I was going to touch on some uh, fan comments and questions. So make sure you stick around for that. Yeah, we'll get to that later. But I think as a captain, he did really well. I think I think yeah. they got in the game. They probably wanted to make more than 200, but he's like, come on guys, can someone mm. else make some runs? They just need some more yeah, runs. The, the only it's thing a, is they they only had four bowls, bowl, four, oh, five yeah, bowls. It's, they had four, but that's because the state of the game, like they and the, Nazim Shah got the pace, know, the pace know, is working. They had yeah. to stay with it. They couldn't go to. They spin. don't have any spinners they for would, next game. Though, they do. Yeah. They they have like um, any good spinners. Salman, who can. Who can oh, he's all right. Yeah. I'm not really concerned. Um, but he, if he bowled, that game would have been over quicker. Like yeah. they had to stick with the pace. Bowl. True, mm. true. Last one. Uh, will Nazim Shah move up the batting order? No. He, it's no. one of, you he looks keep so it, good. I think keeping keep where he is, yeah. you don't want to. He was so fun to watch. Yeah, the, the crowd see, was gone. I, I feel like there's a bit of Ashton Agar vibes about it. Like you have when him batting moved, down yeah. low, and then he, 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 he make, yeah. makes a ninety on debut. Ashton Agar isn't up, actually good at batting. He just had one. <laughs> He's not good at batting, but he made a ninety-eight in in one remarkable year. I stayed up for that. That was like at four eight. Oh, that was unbelievable. That was that the best night of your life? Definitely not. Well, that might be stats guys. Answer to a fan question. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Oh. I'll have to. Yes. There we go. We'll get segway. into that. Good little segue there. I reckon you guys have said segue more than I have. Now you've way. got me saying it. It's in my head now. <laughs> the, since we've come back, definitely Stats Guy has. Bring back the rooster. We don't have to hear him yeah. talk as much. All right. Predictions for this game. Go are we all on. going? Can you get the rooster mask on? Predictions. Are we going the Aussies? Aussie trailer. Yep. Oh, Aussie, <laughs> Aussie trailer. Aussie trailer. Who, 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 yeah. Has anyone ever called Australia? I just tied it in. I felt it. You felt the vibe? felt the vibe. I think this will be... A lot more one-sided than the first one. I said the G is the yep. chance for Pakistan to make it close. They did. If this is spinning, Zamba's going to have a field day. Our batsmen, ha I think, are really good at facing spin as well. So. And we've got a lot of part-time spinners. And a lot of them, <laughs> a a couple lot of them of might not even go. And a lot of like to spin. Yes. Yeah. So true. we're all gone. Australia, pretty convincing? Yeah. Yep. I reckon. Um, or you're going to be close. Not close, but not convincing. I'll say convincing. Okay, I'll, I agree with Marcus on this one. There we go. All right, let's finish off with some fan comments slash questions. So I've written down some of the comments and then I've attached a question myself to it. Ooh. The first one comes from- Very Ant innovative. Yeah, why I not? Like it. Why I not? Like we it. want to get the fans involved. This one is on uh, YouTube, Andrew TE 2157. The first cricket game I ever went to was Canada versus Pakistan this year what? at the World Cup. I'm guessing Canada they're Canadian. Pakistan. I'll always root for Pakistan because of how nice and welcoming all the fans I met were. Lovely. So that's yeah. a really good little comment there. Coming from that, what match got you guys into cricket or your oh. earliest match memory? I've put that in there because this is Andrew's oh, first ever oh memory. Oh, my God. Well, you can even – it doesn't have to be first ever. I don't one, think it's his first ever memory. I think first it's the ever first game. Cricket, <laughs> obviously, yeah. I meant cricket. <laughs> cricket memory because it's the first game we went to. Uh, Do you remember the first game you went to? Or? No. No, you I don't. actually don't Or like remember. first one, an early match that you got, oh, this is, this is sick. If you looked at uh, the run sheet, you could have had a Peter think about Siddle, this. Peter Siddle's hat trick, <laughs> hat trick on his birthday. That's oh yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. I would have nice. been I would have been younger there. That's a good moment. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. that makes me feel. Uh, James Faulkner against James England Faulkner, ODI. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. See, I've ones, but they're all from like when I was 13, 14. That's yeah. right. I you can talk about before. Just yeah, Mitchell Johnson, Terry. Mitchell Johnson. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Mine was um, David Warner. Mine was the underarm ball. Like only a couple years. Mine was Don Bradman making. No, Don I'm, Bradman going to war. The first, T, the first T20 at the G, David Warner. Going absolutely oh, off. He, he made like 80 he or something. Switch hit? Yeah, this, he did remember. a couple of switch hits that. on yeah. the in the um that. the best kits Australia's ever had, I reckon, mm. with the um the grey and yellow ones when they had the nicknames oh. on the back. I love those kits. I'm not sure about the best. With the kit. sleeves, you could get the long but. sleeves. Michael Clark got a, I think two run out, direct hit run outs. Awesome. Mm. That's my one. There we go. I don't even know what year that was from. I was wearing a bucket hat. The yeah. old KFC, you remember the KFC bucket yeah. hats? <laughs> Get the bucket hat on. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I, wear rooster, I wear rooster hats. It's, it's, you wear rooster it's all hat. Yeah, it's all, it's all a vibe. All right, next uh, fan comment, Hunain Khan. Imran Khan is so far ahead of Cummins, he says. That's when, in reference to the this or that, I wanted to reference that this yeah. or that video, so check that out on Cricket Today AU socials. 
What do we think, guys? Is Imran Khan so far so ahead? So far ahead? I think he might He's be ahead. Maybe when Cummins retires, we could compare him a bit yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. right now, because Imran Khan could do it all as well. Cummins has mm. got what? Three, four years? Left? Maybe? Yeah. I think How by the time he? he ends. No, I think so. I think so. If his body. He's 31, up. so oh, maybe three. Well, four, I reckon. You reckon? He's probably got, oh, yeah, he's probably got. He's, yeah. an, he's like a fit athletic man. He is. Well, Superman. Too, uh, earlier in his career, he had those bad injuries, didn't he? But. Um, when he was like, he's been when so he was like yeah, when he was a late teenager, but now he's been. Mm. Yeah, so we're yeah, yeah we're leaning towards Imran Khan for now, Pakistan fans. Yeah, but maybe at the end of the career, mm. be a bit mm. closer. Is that what we're? I don't think I Pat Cummins being captain. I would love to see Cummins and like, be prime minister of Australia. I don't know. Do we bring exactly? In, do we bring in trophies to this? Trophies or like in winning? Yeah, well, like accolades. Yeah, and, but Cummins had a better Khan, team around he, him probably. Yeah. Was, President of Pakistan, Prime Minister? Uh, yeah, they have a Prime Minister, but I, can't, I can't remember if it was oh, him. I just completely mixed them, mixed someone up. No, I reckon you could be you on could be to on something there. there. Yes. Yeah. He was. Yes, so yes, yes. yes. We're he, talking winning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he won a <laughs> full on political. He did lead campaign. a nation. <laughs> yeah. They've had some crazy things happen over there, though. But yeah. I don't know if it was under his watch, but it's not, I don't want to get into that. Anyway, next one. I had to get our uh, number one fan in here. I see see Jimbo. I see see Jimbo. Did you actually meet had, him? No, no he was I didn't game, know he was though. there until after, up. yeah. I told you it was there, didn't oh, I? Oh, I forgot. Or maybe he didn't. <sighs> he, anyway. didn't he didn't come to see us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was looking, and he, then he was like, who's that guy in the rooster mark? Yeah, I better stay away from him. <laughs> <laughs> who's that guy pecking yeah. at kids' chips? Uh, yeah, I see Jimbo. He said, we need to break this partnership. I just wanted to reference that because literally Australia versus Pakistan, if we break a Rizwan and Baba partnership, mm. game over. Like, does mm. the Rizwan and Baba partnership control too much of Pakistan's score? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Whenever yeah, they, whenever right. they win, one of them makes at least a half century. Yeah, so yeah, like if they mm -hmm. made a sixty or so, one of them, then they probably could have won. So they just needed that middle order is just cooked. They need to make some. It runs. is, it is, it is. It's so. a lot, lot on the Rizla, isn't it? Mm. On the Rizla, on the yes, Rizla. the Riz King. I think opening wise, they need to improve a lot as well. Yeah, that was that was bad. Losing well, wickets early. Shafiq and Ayub, I don't mind, but no, yeah, no, I, like not have the, the personnel, not the personnel, but the. The, the way they go about it. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, I don't mind that. I, Ayub yeah. is a very explosive. Like, he's like Fraser McGurk. Yeah. yeah. Well, explosive. Except not as good. Well, or he's probably, I've seen him hit. Uh, he's not as good because we don't know a lot about him. But yeah. I've seen a lot of, like, weird highlight packages of him. And <laughs> he, hits a, he hits a clean <laughs> ball. Like, he can okay, hit a clean okay. ball. I'll give you that. All right. I'm calling it. That stumps for the Cricket Today show. We'll Bad be back. light. Bad, bad light. Is it bad light? Yeah, bad light. We're near the G. Bad light. Get the lights on. We'll be back with this show on Monday, actually. And Leo might not be here, but I won't be I'm here, hoping no. Marcus will be here. Oh, I should be here. All that. I, oh, otherwise, should. it's a solid. Otherwise, Gerald's <laughs> jumping on. Get him on. He loves yeah, cricket. Olivia on Gerald too. behind the camera and Olivia yeah. behind. They love the uh, love love a bit of cricket. Maybe just the cricket Is, show. Uh, next week, we... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's... Because the ODI series will be finished on yeah. Sunday. I don't know if we're moving to the two shows a week next week. But nah, we'll, not December. just yet. We're going to leave you guys wanting more. Yes, yeah. yes. More more Rooster content will be yeah. coming soon. So get a route around the show. Send in any questions as we just did then. There's going to be some fan comments and questions, interactions and things like that. Thank you very much to Gerald behind the camera. Thanks, Leo. Thank you. Thanks, Jake Fraser McGurk slash Marcus. That's all right. When are we, when are we uh, leaving tomorrow for the road trip to Adelaide? To <laughs> oh, yeah. Again? I'm um, leaving in 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'm, I'm catching a plane. You guys can try. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's it. Thanks to me. That's another episode of Cricket Today Done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.